Okay, okay, so this is our first test with actual solder paste on a circuit board on the pick and place machine. I'm about to run it, so let's see what happens. Hopefully, it's okay. It's a little scary. I'll do it. <laughs> Working. Oh no. Lost something. This is set to fifty percent of top speed. These little blue tape things, they fall off pretty easy. That's like to extend the tape when you're only getting a few components. This, this, you know, it's okay though. The tape, these are awesome. amazing. It's got encoders on the X and Y axis so it doesn't lose any pulses. Checks the component on the camera each time. You can skip that but I'm just trying to be precise. So this is way faster than I would do it by hand. What I really need to do is get a bunch of these for everything. It's just painful when I'm only using one component for of a particular resistor. You don't want to get 4,000 of them. I'd finally use them up in 900 years. Okay, I'm going to pause for a while. Several minutes have passed, and I've gotten two boards, all the little parts done. All the little parts I actually wanted to do anyway. And it looked okay. So here's the ones over here. Let's see, look how this lined up. Oh, it was terrible looking those up like on the computer and then pinching it with the tweezers and then it launching across the room and ordering more from Mouser or DigiKey. <laughs> This is so much nicer. One interesting thing is that you have to keep these things properly tensioned, otherwise uh, the machine will, it, it can't roll it back. So it's kind of a, a little bit of fiddling with it sometimes, but this is so much nicer than by hand.